a store surveyed their customers to find out their ages. The bar graph below shows the number of customers in each age group. What percent of customers surveyed were 18 to 24? Round your answer to the nearest one decimal place. So this problem is different than all the rest in our homework because it has a bar graph. So what do we do to interpret this bar graph and solve this problem? Well, let's start with what we're looking for. We're looking for the percent of customers surveyed that were in the age group of 18 to 24. Let's translate that. That means we want to find the percentage of customers out of the total number of customers in the store who were in the age group of 18 to 24. How do we calculate that? Well, we first of all have to start with the total number of customers, right, that even entered the store. And we also have to know on top of that, the number of customers that fell into the 18 to 24 age group. So we need to also know the number of customers that fell into the 18 to 24 age group. And to get a percent, we're going to divide, right? We're going to take the number of customers that fell in the 18 to 24 age range, and we're going to divide that by the total number of customers in the store, and that's going to give us the percent of customers that fell into the age group of 18 to 24. The hardest part of this problem is coming up with these numbers. So how do we come up with the customers in the ages of 18 to 24? Well, we look at our bar graph and we focus right there on the ages of 18 to 24. If we look at the height of the bar graph and we read it off of the vertical axis, that's going to tell us how many customers fell in that age group. It looks to me like there are 30 customers that fell in the age group of 18 to 24 years. And so that means the number of customers 18 to 24 was actually 30. Now we need to divide by the total number of customers. So we actually have to calculate the amounts for all the other age groups. From 18 to 24, I already know I have 30 people. So let's go and start getting the other values. Under 17, well, how tall is under 17? Well, that corresponds to 25 people, looking at the vertical axis. 25 to 34 age group, that corresponds to 35 people, looking at the vertical axis. 35 to 50, 35 to 50 gives us, again, looking at the vertical axis, 25 people. And then going down, we have over 50. And the total number of people over 50 looks to be 15. If we take our customers then to get the total, what are we going to do? We're going to add all of those amounts. In other words, to calculate the total number of customers, we're simply going to add 25 plus 30 plus 35 plus 25 plus 15. And that gives us a total of 130 customers altogether. That's the amount that we can divide by in order to get our percentage. So we have 30 divided by 130. And that gives us the percentage, pulling out a calculator, 30 divided by 130 is approximately 0 0.23. 0.76922, sorry, 231, and keeps going on and on and on, right? Converting that decimal into a percent gives us 23.0769231%. And then rounding our answer to the nearest one decimal place gives us 23 0.1%. There are approximately 23.1% of the customers 
in the store falling in the ages of 18 to 24. If you have any questions, please do email me.